All right, Dominaria is finally here. I'm pretty excited about this set. And uh, this is obviously the first time I'm ever playing this set. But for first things first, let's look at our rares. I like to sort by rarity to see what kind of sweet bombs I have. Although I have to say that a lot of the power is in the uh, uncommon legends. You can already see Rona and Slimefoot here, but let's see. Ooh, we got a uh, Lyra Dawnbringer. That is an amazing card. It's a Bane Slayer Angel, basically. And it also pumps up all your other angels, but I don't know how many angels we're going to have. We got double dual lands, which is not uh, exciting in the sense that they are bombs, but they could help us fix the mana. They are in four different colors, too. We got a Goblin Chain Whirler, which is a powerful card, but triple red. We got this card, which I've never seen before. I actually have to read this card. Five and red enchantment. When end spell for choose four non enchantment permanents, you don't control and put an aim counter on each of them. At the beginning of your end step, if two or more permanents you don't control have an aim counter on them, so one of those permanents at random. So you can choose lands, so it's not like you have to have four targets. Um, so slowly you're gonna whittle away at your opponent's board, but that is very slow. There is no guarantee to hit anything, and it is six mana. So this does not look good to me. This is my first impression. It does not look good because it's very slow, and um, you don't have control over, over it. You get Black Blade Reforged, two mana. It's plus one plus one for each land you control. Wow! But you can equip a legendary creature for free and equip seven. So we need a lot of legendary creatures for this card to be good. If we do, it's going to be great, because it's going to be better as the game progresses. I mean, on turn 4, it's going to be plus 4, plus 4. So if we have uh, legendary creatures, we already have one, potentially. This card is going to be great. Alright, so let's look at our colors here. Um, well, they're pretty even, but we have least of black, and we have most of green and red. So let's look at the white first. We have this card, which is a 2 1 for 1 mana that protects one of your creatures. I, I can't see how this card can be bad. At very worst, it is like a uh, savanna line, which is fine. Then you also have a uh, can protect like uh, something like this card from a removal spell, and that's just very good. It's all just um, great. So I think if you want to play white, you want to play that card. You got three healing great, which I'm not too excited about, but I guess you can play one. We got this card, which is a fine trick, plus two, plus two, and indestructible. We got double Benanish on regard, two, two that gets plus one, plus zero for each legendary creature. Fine, but not super exciting. Uh, free one, like a Raptor Companion, not exciting. Devan and Trapper, free two, when it costs a historic spell, tap to a creature on opponent's control, which includes artifacts. That looks like a fine card. Call the Cavalry, two, two, two. 2-2 two, two Vigilance, nice. Fine card, probably. Blessed Light is a fun removal spell. And this card can get back a artifact, so not historic. So white looks very shallow, which makes me sad, because Lyra is a very bombing card. So very unlikely we're going to play white, unless we have very a lot of playables in the other colors. Let's um, actually, let's um, make the cards a little bit bigger and Keep the white cards here for now. Um, this is a potentially playable card. And these cards could potentially be playable too. But yeah, very shallow. For blue, we have Arcane Flight. I don't like that card. Plus one, plus one, and fly. Very fragile. Relic Runner. 2 1. Can't be blocked if it costs historic spell. I don't know about that. I guess they could work good with this card. 1 3 that makes. Quits the power toughness one or less can't be blocked. So they will be good with, with the relic run. It'll be double unblockable. <laughs> the turn you cost. Murfolk Trickster. It's a fine card too, too that uh, makes a creature lose all abilities. Divination, I like that card. The Fuddle is a fine card too. Wizard's Retort. It's a counter spell if you control a wizard, otherwise it's a cancel. This card is a rogue. Rogue. Mm. Uh, free, free, flash. Exile target historic permanent. You basically blink it. It's okay. 
max proof bolus clutches. Ooh, that card is great. And then we have this very expensive card that bounces everything. I think that card is too slow. So blue does not look great either. We have uh, this card, that's probably a fine trick. We have free divest, that is the new card that looks at your opponent's hand. I don't like that card too much. I guess it's fine to play one. We have Knight of Malice. This has a white version too. This is always going to be playable. Two to first strike for two. And even if you don't have, uh, if your opponent doesn't have white, it's still fun. Uh, Vicious Offering. Yeah, that card is good. It's like a moment of craving, except you can kill bigger stuff. You don't gain any life, but... And we got the risk rate. Good, good. And settle the score. Wow. So we got some good black cards. Yargo, everyone's favorite. I think that card is playable. Drudge Sentinel is also playable. So black looks like a nice support color in the sense it's got two removals, but it kills anything. But it doesn't have too many good creatures, so I'm getting a little bit worried about this pool right now. Ooh, we're not done yet. Red has Shiv on Fire, that's a burst lightning, but that can't hit players. Good card in limited. Cars, Skirt Prospector, not good. Champion of the Flame, not good. The Chronicler, that's a sweet card, I like that card. We got Double Run Amok, which is a uh, card you can play one of, I guess. Oh, where, why did that go there? Maybe because it wants to be Pirate Blue. <laughs> uh, I guess these are fine, but not super exciting. Goblin Chain or is too hard to cast, I think. We got double radiating lightning. Three damage to play, one damage to eight creatures that play controls. I don't like that card. Seismic Shift, don't like it. Fire I don't like it. I'm getting a little bit worried now. So, green, we got this card, which I think is fine. It's like green ponder. We got double ancient animus. Plus one, plus one, counter on a creature. If it's legendary, then it fights target creature. Yeah, like this. Like it pounced with some upside. Broken Bond. Cyborg card. Corrosive O's. Fine. Gift of Growth. Fine. Landward Scout. Fine. Ooh, this card is spicy. I think it's playable. Spore Crown Talid. Looks uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, we might have Shepherd. Yeah, that card is good with the green one. Chaos Protector. I oh, don't like it. This card I really like. And Double Mammoth Spider, I guess we could play one. And as far as artifacts go, we got Black Blade Reforged. Uh, we got this card. That card is good. Looks for a land. Yeah, we have some uh, options to splash. We got Slime Lord, Foot the Stowaway, which looks pretty good with the Black Blood Reforged and uh, some Sapperling things. We got this card, which is looks good too. All right, what do I do with this? Let's see, is this card? That's just an ooze. It is a 2-2 two, two for 2. We got a bunch of bad cards here in the artifact section. Lasting lands. Black Blade Reforged, which does not look like it's going to make the cut because we don't have enough legendary creatures. You can't pay 7 mana to equip, it's just too expensive. So I think red is just too shallow here, though it has some good removal. And one thing I'm thinking about is green black. How would that look? Let's see here. This is 19 playable. Well, that is kind of promising. We can then put in slime foot. And let's see here. How is the converted mana cost is pretty low. And we really need more legendary cards. So I guess we could splash Rona, but 
It's not easy to splash. I mean, Woodland Cemetery helps, but it only helps our main colors. As far as Legendary Creeds, we got Yargle, Slimefoot, and that's it. I only have 10 creeds. This is looking like a pretty bad pool, to be honest with you. <sighs> yeah, what do I do? I mean, I could play blue, but... Does not have enough. This card is very good with the equipment, but it also loses the ability to give itself unblockable. So I'm not too high on that either. Um, see, this card wants me to have legendary cards because it's just pounds, which is not great. And I only have 10 creatures, so this doesn't look like it works either. Powerful card, but I would have to play blue black in that case. Let's see, this is kind of a challenging build, it's gonna take some time for sure. <clears throat> Let's see if we were to play blue black and then we can splash slime foot because we have a woodland cemetery and. Uh, this card is fine. We may be able to play that. Also, this card is bad. Let's see if we can play blue black. So we'll play in Bola's clutches. Can blink this card. <laughs> can sweep. Double relic run, which is not even that good because we don't have any. Too many historic cards. This card is too expensive. No, this does not work either. Not enough playables, not enough legendary cards. We have, I, mean, I wanted to play this Black Blade Reforged, but I only have. Legendary creatures, that's not good enough, I don't think. It is very powerful, but if you don't have legendary creatures, it's just too slow. Or sapling, we got this card is good with. Problem with this card is you need a lot of creatures. I only had 10 if I were playing green and black. Yeah. Hmm. I could force play white, but. This card is going to win the game if I can get it and it combines well with the one, one that protects it. So if I were to play white, I would have to uh, probably combine it with a card that has a lot of uh, playables. Because I only had, the last time I checked, I had um, 9 playables in white, so I would need... Uh, 13 playables in other colors, which I don't have. I just don't have. Uh, I guess this card is playable too. So black has the best removal, and that card is not playable. This 
super by converted mana cost. So I have four. I guess this card also works in some ways with um, the black blade, but it is six mana. So at that point, you could just play that card anyway. These cards are just not good in this deck. This just looked like steaming garbage. <laughs> um, right. So this is just a level. Let's say if I was force playing uh, white just to make this legend work, or have a reasonable amount of removal. Creatures. I guess this could work. I guess I have to take out the Roma. But I only have two. I have three legendary creatures. And twelve creatures in total. I guess I could play. I guess my pool is so bad that I, I would have to play Black Blade just to get lucky. <laughs> oh, man. oh god, this is horrible. This pool is just very bad. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to be negative here, but there's just nothing I can do. So many bad cards. I would have to play Double Die West. And... Uh, This card's not good either. <laughs> this is just horrible. Uh, do I want to splash another green card? No. It's a powerful card. Mm. It's a good thing I have unlimited building time. I like the green splash because I have this card and get me a forest and this gives me another green card. But there's nothing else in green I want to splash, I don't think. Also gives me access to this card. This card just get it back with this and also trigger some of my stuff. Also, this it's pretty powerful, but it's very bad on defense. Yeah, I guess I'll run this and the Woodland Cemetery. I will then play. One forest. This looks fine to me. I mean, the, the woodland cemetery is like a black source, so this way we have an equal amount of white and black sources. And this is gonna be my deck. I will see you for round number one. All right, we're here for round number one. I think this is a mulligan. We have two two drops we can't cast, and only one playable one drop. So. Shipping this back, again no black mana, but this time I'm going to keep, I've settled the score and the scry rule may give me a planes. No, sadly I have to put the best card in my deck on the bottom. Two to life link, that's a good card. All right, 
that is free to the tap something when it, uh, you call some historic spell. It's a pretty scary card. We may have to spend a removal spell on that, but hopefully not. Yeah, I'm gonna block here. Um, they have a trick, that's fine. Can't not block, and them gaining life is not the end of the world. I think our deck has possibility to come back from behind. All right, I think I'm just gonna kill that. It is a very scary card. It gets plus whenever they cast a historic spell. So. Next turn I can cost Jargle. <laughs> then how can I possibly lose? A historic spell. All right, so we just put one card in their hand and one in their graveyard. Kind of a nice combo with the card I exiled because you can search it up and get an artifact in your graveyard. It's slow, but so they're gonna have the best card in their deck in their hand now. Maybe they put something sweet in their graveyard too. For later use. I put a swamp. Okay, so they just fin their deck. No graveyard synergy, but they fin their deck. Ooh, I like that card. I'm fine I'm getting a two for one here. It's always nice to get a two for one. And there was a possibility they would be afraid of a palm spell so they wouldn't block, but they saw through it, I guess. Oh, <laughs> okay. That was probably the card to search for. Four for Vigilance, creates Vigilance, and you can tap X on top Knight. It's a Knight by itself. Destroy target creature power X or less. Okay, that card is going to be hard to beat. We have Viscerate against that. No, I'm going to attack here because I, I'm going to bluff a trick. I don't think my opponent can block here. If, if they block, I, I lose, but I don't, I mean, I can't beat that card anyway. All right, they are not afraid. This is a very aggressive block, but I guess I lose. That's fine. I don't see how you can block there at 28 life, but they didn't care. That's okay, I was dead to that card. Had no action going on. I should probably put in the memorial. I actually forgot to do that. I'm gonna, after this round is over, I'm gonna put this card in my main deck. I just forgot to do that. I think I liked having two DVS. Looks like my opponent has some good creatures to snag. So this is all fine. And I think I wanna play first. It's uh, not looking that. Slower format. Oh, we have a kind of a curve out here with Bondi Guardian 
two honor guards, and if we draw land, we have also this bomb. So this black blade is looking a little bit silly, but you never know. Maybe the game goes very long, and they and that can do a thing. Not gonna, this is just going to be a savanna lion, but that's fine. Which is fine. We'd like to draw a swamp at some point. Or woodland cemetery since we don't have a black card yet. Might as well get a little bit greedy. Looking like a beat down draw. Hopefully, don't have like a 1 3. That would be annoying. And they have their own. Okay, fine with um, trading for that. Drawing lands, which is nice, but. Then again, this sadly does not get plus for legendary permanence, so this card is not going to pump up my creatures. Would be nice though. Alright, so that was the one free I was afraid of, but. At least they didn't make us discard. <laughs> okay. I am going to not attack here because these cards are going to be 3-2s um, next turn. So I might as well shield. And you never know, maybe we reach 7 mana. So it's a 1-3 for 2 that you can make. You can discard two cards if you have six men. Are these knights? That's a knight. Okay, I was I'm afraid about the, the the four four you can use with this too. Yeah. Alright, let's cast a bomb and hope our opponent cannot deal with it. But there is a common destroy spell, so there is a possibility. I'm gonna attack here though. I wanna clear my opponent of knights on the board in case they have their legendary man. Too bad this doesn't work after the fact. So we have them down to 11. And we're playing A yesterday and not gonna have a removal for this. Plan B is to reach 7 mana to start equipping this. Alright, that's just a free free, so we're gonna go to town here pretty hard. This card does not have trample, so but I guess that's <laughs> the nice thing about this is that even if they now top deck a removal spell or find some other way to deal with that card, um, I have at 30 life, so I'm gonna reach 7 mana to whip this card to other creatures which presumably is going to be unbeatable because it's going to be plus 7 plus 7. So yeah, that, that game, we drew only planes, but that we only drew white cards and artifacts, so both good luck and bad luck at the same time. Okay. Not sure I want to play two divest on the draw, but yeah, whatever. I don't see anything better. All right, so we got all our colors, and this divest can take an early drop. We have free drop and a jargle, so not exciting, but. Okay, alright, so do I want to cast Divest or do I want to wait a turn? So the reason to wait a turn is to get more targets. The reason to not wait a turn is if I draw a 2-drop, which I have uh, 3 in my deck. I also could top deck another Divest, but I could cast both. So I'm just going to cast this. Also, I might want to take a 2-drop from my opponent if they have 
an aggressive draw. All right, so they have Jargle. They have a Vicious Offering, which is important to note. Sarah Disciple, which is... I, I want to look at the cards without selecting them, so I have to make this pretty big, because if I want to see a card, I have to... Oh, this is annoying, because if I want to see this card, there is a, there is a risk I'm going to take it. So, okay, that card, that card is just bad. So I, I could either take the Skin Witch, which it's not a problem right now, or I can take the Dab and then Trapper. I could also take Yargle, I guess. I think I'm going to take the Trapper. Seven Knight. No. Because I don't care about the two drops. They didn't draw one. White and do they just cost a one for here? Yeah, okay, that's fine. And because this card doesn't even block any of my cards at the moment, I can help them kick Vicious Offering, but I think that's fine. And they're gonna cost a flyer here, I suppose. Which only gets pumped by one card so far. The Yargle. So it's not going to be too impactful. They could just kill this, but at least I got rid of this card, which could kill Yargle with Kicker if they want to play that. Versus Tome. Okay. Right. That's a thing. Pumps up their Flyer, but. It is pretty expensive to use. So I'm fine with that. All right, plus two, plus one. If it's legendary, it gains life. So I could gain eleven life this game. <laughs> if uh, things pan out. This only taps creatures. So I suppose they attack for two. And then loot, probably. Or they can use a removal spell, but the adamant will may have something to say about it. I mean, adamant will is not going to protect the creature in the sense that it gains indestructible, but it may protect it from the plus two, plus two. So let's see here. Land. So if I cast Yargle, I can tap this. If I don't cast Yargle, I can attack and blow them out with Adamant Will. But um, the problem with casting Yargle is that my opponent can then cast Vicious Offering with Kicker. But I can't protect Yargle anyway. I could protect Jargle next turn. Actually, I'm gonna attack here, and if they wanna use Vicious Offering, then I'm fine with that because it means my Jargle can get go to town. So I could oh they, they use cost down instead. Well I can't do anything about that. Oh I could have destroyed target non legendary creature. Oh well. I spaced out for a moment. This is minus five, minus five. So if they wait to do that on my turn, I could blow them out. Guess this works out fine, I mean. Have to do it on their turn because if they wait to my turn, it's gonna be gonna get blown out. All right, so let's attack here, and this 
so now I think I can cast Knight of New Banana because I think they're gonna cast this card end of turn and I only need plus one plus one. Though this card doesn't do anything, it can't attack through this, so I'm just gonna pass the turn. No, they didn't. Weird. I mean, they, they probably just wanted to shunk. But now I have indestructible at the ready, so I guess this worked out fine. Hopefully this isn't the uh, legendary card. Oh, it had to be Exile. It had to be Exile. Alright, we got destroyed here. Wow, my opponent top deck two insane removal spells in a row. That's a blowout. And that card could be good actually. Because I have a lot of mana now. Alright. But they have the. Oh god, they have drawn so good this game. It's annoying. to fly. Okay. This is if they don't have a land they're gonna get destroyed by equipping. This is a weird play. Okay. This is not gonna end up good for my opponent. I now have an eleven nine which they can't kill anymore with Wishes Offering. So, this is weird. I'm not sure why they didn't kill my card. Weird. If I can untap with White Man, I'm gonna feel a lot better. They're gonna get to draw a card and exile Yargle, I guess. Now they discarded the swamp. Why didn't they exile Yargle? Weird. I'm confused. I'm confused. But if I can untap with white mana. Wow. Oh, that's a good card here. Let's attack and Probably force a shunt. No? Okay. Why didn't you attack them? Weird. I am very confused. In general. <laughs> Alright. Poor man. Okay, so I can get back nothing right now. And this card probably just kills my opponent, but they have a wishes offering, so I would like to all right they tapped out so they're dead all right and we're gonna get the first game here because I can't stick with like that and my phone cannot block oh can they oh they can all right Oh man. New cards. New cards. Let's play another round. I don't know how many I'm gonna play right now. This is a nine round event. That's a lot of rounds, but I want to at least play free. Get my clothes warm with this new set. As you can see, both me and my opponent are a little bit confused about how cards work. Uh, hexproof of white means that it can still be blocked by white creatures, it just cannot be targeted, so that was a punt by me. But this hand looks very good. Again, bodyguard into black blade into discard 
And I think I have to cause this turn, card on turn one. Because um, waiting is, I don't think, very good. Because I can just slam a removal spell on turn four. Alright, Hexproof on black. Well, that's going to be good against me. It also has first strike. But if they don't have a a uh, room with a von Lyra, we're going to win. So there is that. But how are we going to deal with this card? Especially now. Yeah, so now it can be indestructible too. And we take three. <clears throat> All right. um, so that doesn't help us win any combat, but block, pass the turn and hope to trade. First strike. So now we're all in on this Lyra Dawnbringer. I'm probably gonna kill that. Is that just too fast of a clock? Yeah, I'm gonna kill that thing, even though it's small, it represents free damage actually. One from the flyer itself and two from the bodyguard. We need a land here. We probably have two turns to draw land, but this card is just going to demolish us. Alright, so that's the artifact searcher. Ugh. One turn to draw land. Maybe two. They could have a camp spell too. All right. Flash flying. Yeah, okay, we're there. Man, my opponent's deck looks approximately one million times better than my deck, so. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to do that, of course. <laughs> Alright, so I wanna get some of these in there. Maybe I take out the divest and put in a mammoth spider. I mean, I have two, two, three green sources: forest, woodland, cemetery, and uh, land searcher, the skittering surveyor. And divest doesn't look too good anyway. So the twenty-third card in the deck. All right, again this card, which means I'm gonna keep. <laughs> They did not have the one drop at least. Yeah, this is one of the worst seal pull I had in a long time. Swamps is not what I want. I'll tell you that. This card could now block this card, so there is some hope. Okay, that's a good card, right? Right, as it's brought, you get 2 2 with the Vigilance, and then it's gonna make them 4 free. This is a Knight 2. Okay. Well then, this one's probably gonna trade. It's 
card looks very good in limited and maybe in constructed too. I'm not sure yet about that, but it looks very good. I'm gonna trade here if I get the chance because this is gonna be four freeze. And we need a plane to basically on that card. I'm not sure why you play this card in this his deck looks very good. I'm not sure why you play very bad cards like that. That's just unnecessary. Oh, they did attack with that. Okay. Not sure why, because they're going to be bigger next turn. Exile target creature or enchantment. Okay. I guess I do that now to play around counter spell, although no, I think I should wait. I just well attack with this because I can't block anyway. This makes blocking impossible. The reason I want to wait is to make lifelink avoidable. turn and die. All right. Round number three. I was never going to draw planes from what it looked like. All right, we're here for round number three. We have a different hand. All we need to do is draw a legendary creature and the black blade with forge is gonna go to town. We have a removal spell. And now we have a legendary creature. Cool. Blue black looks like blue is the front runner from the strongest color in this set. From what I've seen so far. Okay. Get to attack here and good thing is that the negate in this set costs three mana, so they can't negate my black blade. Okay, so the idea is to trade here, I guess. Am I fine with that? I could kill that, but do I really care? No, I don't think I care. I think this is fine. I'm gonna save my vicious offering for something better. Though I would 
like to draw some more action here. Okay, they are on discard. I hope they don't have a counter spell here. But I don't know there are too many. There is no essence scatter. There is a the card that's cheaper if you control a wizard, but ooh, version force. That is a sweet one. Alright, they better have something here, or else Jargle is gonna hit for 15. <laughs> 9 plus 6. And uh, that's. can make anyone in a good mood. Now, do I wanna play around the bounce? So here's my thinking. If, I, if my opponent is still going to play out this game. There is a card that makes um, bounces a card. And if they have that, they're going to take... I can't replay Yard, but now that I drew Davin and Trapper, things changed. So now I am going to equip. Because I can cast this free to, And even equip it next turn if I want to. But Attacking for 15. Attacking with a 15 9 is too sweet to pass up. But opponent has some interesting mana requirements with the word and force. But it's a pre release, so why not? Alright. <laughs> 15 9. For the third time, I forgot to put in the land. And again, I'm gonna put in the spider. Alright, it's time to go to Paris or Vancouver, I guess. And yeah, I think I need a land at some point. Too worried about burden force. I have two removal spells and a couple of divest, so I think I'm fine. Oh, that card. That is a good one. I'm thinking I'm gonna play this card first though. Because next turn I can play divest and hold up uh, Adam at will. So do I want to attack or block here? Looks like they don't want to. Slime foot. Alright, I think I'm gonna need to blessed light that at some point. Let's start by divesting here. And they have this unbeatable card, Tatiova. They have a mammoth spider and icy manipulator. Tatiova is almost unbeatable. Icy manipulator is also almost unbeatable. Um so which one do I take? I have blessed light. Which could kill slime foot. I think I'm gonna take Tatiova and just try to eventually. And here I'm gonna use Adamant. Will or will I? This just trades with that, but. I still think it's worth it. See why I wanted to splash this card. This card is just bonkers. But this card can at some point deal with those tokens, maybe. Alright, let's just pass the turn and kill that thing in response. Unknown 
cars or a move spider and his ice manipulator and there is one more okay there's the spider i have no artifacts so this card is going to be okay but there is a icy manipulator which is another reason i guess to have more divest in my deck okay forest do they have verdant force no just icy manipulator Okay, they want to get aggressive. Fine by me. So okay, so I have now green too. So now it's nice. I can cast this card and um, do I want to attack here? If I attack, they can tap and attack for four. So. But then I can attack back for a lot, so I'm actually going to attack you. The reason is that if they want to go aggressive and tap my, I can then attack back. So, and so let's see who's going to draw the bomb first. If I draw my flyer, they actually have an ice manipulator. So it's still going to be good because it's going to force them to use it. But if they draw verdant force, I'm probably dead. I'm not blocking here because I could draw the the, the um, minus two minus two. Okay, so we have a five five death toucher. Uh, well, it's unfortunate, but yes, I have to cause a couple of cards here. That was a good draw. Okay, let's go to combat. I have no separate, so there is no reason for me to, to cast a card pre-combat. Alright, and no attacks, but the slime foot I think is worth playing, even though I can't use it. I wasn't attacking anyway. Start jump blockers and draining. So I suppose my opponent's gonna attack here, right? They can attack with 5 5. No, really. Play my land because of slime foot, and uh, yeah. so I can either activate slime foot or make two 1 1s. I think I want to be using slime foot while I can, so even though it makes one less. It also makes it possible, if I sacrifice this, I can't go up to 8 mana. If I go up to 8 mana, I can act double activate this card. So I think it's worth not cracking this right now. And wait for 8 mana. Yeah, 8 mana, baby. So... Gonna be close if they draw remove a spell for slime foot and then draw uh, a big card. I could be in trouble. Like if they draw remove a spell into Verdant Force. Oh, I see. Blink of an eye. Okay. Pretty good here because my mana is spent on other things. That's fine. I think it's time to start attacking, right? No? Okay. And land. 
So now I have a choice between paying Partic Wanderer or making two one ones. I think it's better to make two one ones because of the ice manipulation. Maybe that's not true though. Oh yes, it is. I changed my mind. Because if they want to attack with the three five, I get to make a bunch of. I can actually make trades, and that's a lot of drains. Okay, I think that's good for me. We sit here for a while. Eventually, I can maybe start attacking, but. Four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, it's still better to just make one once. Weather light. Flying when it deals combat damage or play with top five cards. Uh oh, I guess it's time to start doing something because that kills me in two turns. deals with that though. So I'm going to use that with a sapling. So that means I have seven mana left. So at this point I'm actually going to cast the honor guard. Because I can't use vicious offering and make uh, two saplings. The green ponder. Rome. Okay, that card. That is scary. Actually, if this had been done post combat, they could have exiled Weatherlight and got it back next turn. So I'm happy they did this pre combat. This makes a couple of creatures unblockable. I think I'm going to have to attack next turn. So now my opponent has three creatures that are unblockable. But I could also kill Umesawa, which would mean I get to kill some cards. This way I take three, go down to four, but I drain up to five. Then I attack with everything. My opponent blocks my three largest creatures, which is these three. Then they take three, five, eight, plus eight, seventeen. So yeah, that's leaf. So I'm going to try and kill this. Take three. Hopefully, I can kill my opponent. So, do I want to make soldiers or saplings? Probably soldiers at this point, since my opponent can leave some soldiers, uh, some saplings unblocked. So, I think it's time to make soldiers and attack with everything. There is no time to wait anymore. I 
don't have the luxury to wait. Jargle, that could make... I can tap something. It could also cost part of Wanderer, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I'm dead to the swing back anyway. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So... Yes, it costs. This is historic. Yeah. Tap the big thing. Attack with everything and hope that my opponent does not have some kind of fog. There is no reason to wait and die to some random thing where. I guess they have Ice and Manipulator, I forgot about that. But still, this is lethal. They block my two largest creatures and take 18. And if they have some removal spell, I can cost Blessing. So, is this resolving or are they having some fog here? Oh, well, we'll find out in a second. A removal spell is not gonna cut it. Alright. Yeah, my opponent flooded. I also think my opponent should have attacked with their 5 5 a little earlier. Alright, round number 4. I would like to play first. This is sadly a mulligan. This is a keep. Pretty fine keep. Fine keep also. Because uh, lamb is nice, nice. Start with Savannah Lion, follow up with Divest and the Trapper. Hope my opponent is slow. I think it's better to attack first because there are no flash creatures and I want to have plus two plus two if there is some slash of talons or something like that. Is this is another one of those white black legends. That's the Insano card. There's also Sarah Disciple which I can trade Adamant Will for. I'm gonna take this unbeatable legend. And I'm just gonna have to be content with the fact that this card is gonna get blocked by some other cards, because my opponent has two cards that make that card not do anything. Okay, so white source would be nice. I could attack and trade Adamant Will, but I'd rather play a free drop for now. So, and okay, that's a free one. Okay. I guess I sit and wait for a uh, green source. That would be good. That could do it. I don't want to trade here. It just seems bad. This card, I'm fear, is going to get my slime foot before I can cast it. But what can you do? There is not much. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. But if I attack with this, they can't block, right? Because if they do, I can just eat their creature. And I have one more turn in case. Um, so this should be two free damage. If they block, I will still have one more turn to cost slime. Food. Oh yeah, that thing. But I couldn't do this pre-combat because then I can't activate the skeleton. So, oh, and yeah, that card, that card is good. And that one. Okay, this is gonna be a slog. They shows the Avenant Trapper. So they can trade this card for any of my cards, basically. I mean, if they attack, yeah, okay. So, I don't wanna attack with this. 
If they work with that, I can't make a 1-1 one, one, and they get a 1-1. One, one. I think it's better just to make a 1-1, one, one, honestly. There is no time like the present. <laughs> so I make 1-1s one, and they have that card. They should probably attack with this, but maybe not. So they can get rid of my adamant wheel at some point, but I think that's fine. I'm just gonna keep making one once. I think that's better than attacking with this. And okay. That is fine. So let's see if my opponent has a splash color. Like I do, no. That's the planes. Attack for two. All right, that's probably a color I wanna use because you're gonna get rid of that next turn. <clears throat> well, I can just pass the turn because it's not instant. Maybe they draw a sick bomb and play that instead. I'm gonna get rid of the flyer because it's the only card that does anything here. And it's also pretty annoying because it blocks all my X ones. They get rid of my adamant wheel here. Alright, that's not the card I need to use right now. So I'm just gonna pass. Let slime food do its thing. Again, I think it's better to do that than sacrifice this because I want to if I reach eight mana, I can do it two more. Well. My opponent shouldn't have too many attacks, but you never know. This is a two, three. Yeah. Your build is that better than making a one one? Yeah, it probably is because I have some equipments I could draw. Uh, show some card is level and trap, okay. But I don't really have any good attacks. Okay, so he killed my card. Dub. Alright, maybe I kill that then. 5 for first strike. Probably just jumping here, draining a little bit, and then I can kill that next turn. Maybe they don't even want to attack. And this exile, so they can't protect it either. Yeah, I think. Cash this in for 6 life essentially, and they take 1. Just do anything else. No. Okay, I can cast that first. Get a swarm, presumably. Tap this one. And I'm gonna do this now because uh, there could be some weird card that untaps that thing. There is, I think there is, a, there is a source instant that untaps a creature. So there is no reason to walk into that. And now I can... I don't want to attack with Jargle, but... This card is just 2-1. This card is 
Yeah, it's not good trades, but they do clear the way somewhat. So I think this card can attack, and that's it. Try to clear up the board a little bit. Oh, they have a one free helps. <laughs> Oops, that was a mistake. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. Forgot about that card. I thought it was a 1 2 for some reason. Alright, Vicious Offering is nice. I guess I guess sit here then. Throwing away a 2 1 is not the end of the world, but it's kind of unnecessary. 8 man. Drawing the equipment would be very good here because I have not only legendary cards but also seven man. Not one of those. Okay. Don't think that's fast enough clock. We shall see here. Lands are not bad either. That means two saplings. Another dub. All right. I think I have to kill that then. And do I want to kick it? Uh, I mean, it means I lose a creature, which is not great, but if they have a pump spell, this could own me. I actually think I kicked this because this plays around a, a uh, pump spell. So I, I want to be a little bit safe. It would be really bad if they had like a plus two, plus two, and own me completely. So it's a little conservative, but I think I can live with losing one creature. I also get a little bit of a drain. Maybe they kill Slimefoot and then I don't get the drain. Ooh, that card seems... Is that better than a sapling? Hang on. It cannot... It's a 2-3-2 two, two first striker, so they can double block it with these two cards. But no, they can't because that's only one damage off the first strike. So okay, I think I caused that over making a sapling. Oh, what am I talking? They can block it. Man, these new cards are confusing to me. I'll play my land here. Like to draw the equipment or the big flyer. I can tell you that slime foot has been worth a splash for sure. Okay, that can get back a nothing. <laughs> okay, so uh, good pool, really. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. So I'm going to keep that because it's not really better than making a sapling, I'm not sure. And maybe I can get back this, get some triggers from this. Or maybe they kill my equipment. I think it's starting to be time to send in my saplings to their doom. It would suck if they had a removal spell or response, but there's no way they wouldn't have killed Slimefoot at this rate, right? So, yeah, I think I'm going to attack with saplings now. This just means that, oh man, this this was not my fault. This was Magic Online. I clicked on everyone, but oh, God. I was supposed to attack with everyone, but Magic Online didn't select those for some reason. 
Oh, okay. Nice. Still think we're fine, but man. All right. Throwing that woodland cemetery really won us this game because they could have gotten that card with this kick card. Okay. Divestus looks kind of bad in this matchup. Um, although, let's get rid of the discard dude, which could be important. I just want something big like this to just finish up the game. I can see that, I can see that. I can see that. Maybe this card is just not good enough. I play two divest, I guess. Alright, fine. Seems okay. white cars here. No swarms, but we don't need them as for the moment. The mono white mirror. That card kind of trumps this card. But, oh well. <laughs> On the planes as far as the eye can see. get a swamp. I need to naturally draw my swamp. Alright, it's not too often you're sad to see that card. This is one of those moments. There is a swamp. So, if they attack with this do I block? Feels bad, but... Feels bad. I'm not gonna do it. I wanna use this to block something else. And take one. Okay. Uh, this was not one of those moments I wanted to draw slime. I think we're dead, but we're gonna play it out, I think. This card looks very good. This is not source of speed. Like that was one of the cards which I wanted to block with this. So. Okay, interesting. This is one that we start play or playing so. And yeah, yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. All right, that sucks. Looks like my opponent is a little bit more aggressive than first glance. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think that card could be good. Put him one of healing grace. And Just to make a good trade, gain some life, get things going. Slow but steady. I don't see how my opponent think my pool is good. I think my pool is complete garbage. But I mean, this card is not good. This card is okay. This card is okay. This card is fine. I mean, I haven't even played my Mythic Angel, which is how come that card is insane. But it's just some, some scrappy dudes. Some. Okay, removal then. Yeah. That 
that's a good one. I need a fourth land, but that stabilizes the board pretty nice. Okay, that's annoying. Yes. This could block that at some point. blocks I eat his creature. It sucks if I almost don't want him to block but he's a free card. Oh god, maybe I shouldn't have attacked. But I mean throwing away a creature seems kinda of loose. Worked out good for my opponent though. Well, it's a little bit greedy, but they didn't do anything so I think I cost a three five here. Blocks everything. It's not like I have too many artifacts anyway. Yeah. Maybe they also misunderstand this good as I have misunderstood it. Or maybe they have a trick, you know. Sacrifice two creatures, return to repeat card from Graven to the battlefield. Okay. I don't think I'm too scared about that right now. But and I can kill it at will. Let's attack with both. I think I can be the aggressor here. Got some tricks. And if they don't block, I can just cost all the cavalry. Two, two, two vigilance. Hard to raise them. If they want to attack with knight, I can attack back. So. Oh no, god, that's annoying. That's annoying. So I think I keep my removal spells here. <clears throat> and the sorcery speed now. But they have, don't have anything good in their graveyard anyway. They can get back a Skittering Surveyor. They can also get back the Knight, but they have to sacrifice both creatures. I think that's actually fine. I think that's fine. I mean, I trade a Knight for two creatures. That seems okay. down to 8, which is not nothing. And I got rid of the scary reanimator. Free to fly. Okay. Um, so I could cause Blessed Light here, but do I really need to? Blessed Light on the um, that card, and then I can attack with everything. Okay, feels weird, but yeah, play my land in case I draw something out of cost. Eight mana. Now what? Uh oh. Okay, they didn't kick, so it's just a four or five minutes. <laughs> All right, I guess I attack with both. Hope they don't have anything. In that case, um, they go down to 
one if they have something I lose my knight. But they need to have it. And oh, Alright, I tried. It's not too many cars they could have had. Hesitate about attacking, maybe they don't have anything. Alright. Ooh. That's a thing. Maybe I played a little too aggressive with my uh, removal spells here, but. This is 10 now. First strike, okay. That could be good in a turn. First, like means I can't attack. But... Alright. Josuvesh. Something, something. I have some sick draws here, but if nothing else, I can sack the crypt land and play the land. This is not. Yeah, you can do this anytime you like. Disaster if they have anything. Do I have the balls to do it? That's the question. Oh God, why? why? Why always a land? So if I attack and they don't have anything, I win. If I attack and they have something, I probably lose. I'm just gonna pass the turn. I have slime foot. I have the equipment, I have the legend, I have two removal spells which I haven't drawn yet, so I think I can shield. This is not looking good. Man, so many lands. 13 lands. It's a knight. Here. Ooh, okay, so they have. Oh, God, he's going to be able to kill that. No, they have one, two, three. Okay, so there is still a chance. There is still a hope. They're going to be able to go up to four knights, and if they don't have another knight or a removal spell, I can win. 
I think. All night. This is all tap. There is still hope. There is still hope. All right, you got it, bro. They don't have the life link card. Oh, God. Oh, man. I could still draw the equipment, I guess. Because next turn I'm going to be able to kill my Lyra. thing I can do though is to attack with the uh, Yarga which forces a block but he's just gonna block with this card. So that doesn't do anything. And I obviously do a land. I have maybe if I draw slime foot. Ah, I'm just dead here. I will play one last round. All right, that was very tilting. I will play one last round. Maybe if I attack with everything. I could have won. Alright, and as usual we have a turn one dauntless bodyguard with an excavation elephant and a party wanderer too. Gonna trade with that. <laughs> uh, I'm playing eight planes and eight swarms effectively, so this should not happen. This should not happen. Man, a um, 
land would have been nice. So if I equip attack for 10, I got 14, I then get the attack back for 14. So I think it's better to cost call the cavalry here. And attack. Do I even want to attack? Holds back this card. It's going to kill in two turns anyway. So I think I actually hold back here. And hope to get a two turn clock. Karn. Does that kill anything? Nope. So I'm not too scared about that card. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna give them the planes. I want them to give get them the black card. And jump here. Swamp would be nice. <laughs> Alright. Um Equip attack for 11, which kills them next turn. I also go up to 15, which means I am no longer dead to a removal spell. So, yeah. This is fine. I'm not, not going to care about Karn. So, if they can have a removal spell plus pump. I guess I lose, but... Okay. Okay, you will get all the cavalry. Not get blessed light. <laughs> Alright, so our angel keeps them alive for a turn. But I did get this so I can kill them. They have some weird pump spell. All right, corn. Corn is a scary card, but it, I think it's not unbeatable in limited. good enough, but probably isn't. I'm gonna try a short sword, see how that performs. I think maybe it could be fine. I think it's better than that instant. Also, it's a historic card for some of my cards like this and this, although I don't know how often it's going to end up in the graveyard. Alright, we're back. It seems fine. The surveyor gives me a plains if I haven't drawn one, or a forest for Slimefoot. And die best by this time, I think. So there's this that gives back a creature card from the graveyard to your hand. Very good card. And we have Elephant, Demon Lure, Bess and Lock, Cabal Paladin. Cabal Paladin shouldn't be a problem, right? It's the 4 2. Um, this card is. Scary, but they're very far off. Excavation advance isn't scary either, so I think I'm just gonna take the Demon Lord. This is the 
or two, so I'm not scared about that at all. I'm gonna block that with my two, two, hopefully, because they didn't have a removal spell. And planes would be nice. No? So now I have the question, do I want to get forest or planes? I think actually since I draw the short sword, I'm going to get a forest so I can cast my slime foot and then I can equip the this with the short sword and just block the fort too. It may take some damage, but that's fine. One reason to take the Demon Lord is that if I if you want to get it back with this, it's going to be much harder to cast. Okay, so I'm going to attack and cast a slime foot and a short sword. Scooped. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I think five rounds is enough. This is a nine round event, so I'm gonna play it out, of course. But for now, I thank you for watching. I'm sorry if I was a little bit negative, but <laughs> some of the games were kind of frustrating. And I will see you for a draft on Monday. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like the content.